I'm just gonna live in my own universe because the only way, that's the only way I'll be the best in my own world. This is my world. If I'm the main character, I gotta do main character shit. If the main character is gonna get stronger, the main character is gonna get stronger. If the main character is gonna make some iller music than what he already created, he's gonna go Super Saiyan making the iller music that he's about to create. You know what I mean? So I would say Kendrick's not better than me. When I said that shit, I'm a fucking idiot for saying that shit. Because he's not. Nobody's better than me. I don't give a fuck who you are. And I'm not to sound arrogant. It's because I know who I am. I know what world I stay in. And comparing my art, you can't. Like, I can't compare my art to Kendrick's. It may have the same type of message, but I can't never compare my art to his. I can't compare my art to X. I can't compare my art to any of these other people that's around here because I know who the main character is in my world. If I make him my main, if he's the main character in my world, then I'm a secondary character. No, I'm living as the main character in my vision because this is what I see every day. I don't see him every day. He's just a part of a chapter. That's it. Okay. We back with another one. So what I want to talk about is being the center of your universe. Okay. So this is something that I've kind of been thinking about. I wrote, I've written about it a few times, but I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around it. So hopefully I can get it done in this video. But the idea is that each and every single one of us is the center of our universe. So. What I mean by that is, so for me, everything revolves around me, meaning it revolves around what I think, how I feel, how I perceive certain things, you know what I'm saying, how I feel about myself. Like, that's where everything starts within, right? I think that's all something that we all can agree on and that we all understand at this point. So... When I say that the world revolves around us, not the world, we're the center of our universe. It's each one of us, like, yes, we're a part of one big world. We're a part of one big universe. But within us, we, we are, it's like we're player one. We're the main character. You know, the story is about us. We're not like, so when he was talking about in the clip um, that I played, in the clip he was talking about, you know, he's the main character. He's not a secondary character. I feel like each and every one of us, like we all need to understand and realize that we're the main character in all of our stories. So it's not like, you know, we're giving the spotlight to somebody else for whatever reason, or we're idolizing other people. Like we don't need to be doing that. We just need to understand that we're number one, you know, not again, not in a, not in a narcissistic way or not in a, you know, not in an arrogant way or anything like that, but that's just the reality of it. Like our, uh, everything starts with us. And so I feel like the the better we understand that, the more that we can kind of take charge, take responsibility, take accountability for, you know, our actions, how our life is right now, the people around us, the decisions that we make, we take responsibility for all those things. and really start to tap into and uh, utilize the power that's within us, you know, because we have the power to do a lot of things, you know, and the mo I think the most important and most powerful choice that we have is choice. You know, we have the, the power to choose whether we want to admit it or not, whether we like it or not, we have the power to choose. Like if you're in a, um, a situation that you don't like right now, if you don't like right now, to some degree, you chose that, you know, it's up to you to decide uh, what path you take in life and, 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 you know, whether you want to settle for things or whether you want to achieve and, and strive for more in life. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like once we uh, understand this, things become a lot easier and a lot clearer. And then we understand the, like how the little things that we do, influences whoever's around us or whoever we're we're with on a regular basis you know it's like we 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 got to really really understand how much weight we hold but it's almost like the like for me I didn't realize how significant I was or how significant I could be until I realized how insignificant I was if that makes sense 
right? It's like you have to realize how small you are to like the whole universe, right? It's like we have to realize how small we are in comparison to that. And then that's when we start to become start to become large within our own universe. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like this is all just coming off the dome. I didn't really plan this out or nothing. <laughs> but it's like that's that's how it was for me. It's like once I realized how little I mattered is when I started to actually realize how much I did matter. You know, but that's just I feel like that's a necessary uh uh step. Like it's almost like like a form of like ego death and then that's when you start to really 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 make an impact you know it's like i feel like it's like a spectrum you know it's all part of the same spectrum you go from zero you have to be zero in order to be 10 you know what i'm saying hopefully that makes sense but i'm gonna just leave the video there man it's 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 something that i'm still trying to get my head fully wrapped around so i can explain it better so who knows maybe this maybe this will be like an ongoing series or maybe it'll be like a part two or three or whatever until I fully figure it out. But just let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Y'all take it easy. Peace.